Welcome to our special edition of Zavala Owls Weekly News. I'm Galicia Landa Verde. And I'm Luis Lugo. Today's broadcast is coming live from our Zavala Rodeo. This week has been an exciting and thrilling week. We celebrated Texas Public School Week. Here's a short glimpse of all the activities we participated in. Stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. The prairie sky is wide and high, deep in the heart of Texas. The sage in bloom is like perfume, deep in the heart of Texas. Reminds me of the one I love. Deep in the heart of Texas The coyotes wail along the trail Deep in the heart of Texas Rabbits rush around the brush Deep in the heart of Texas The cowboys cry, cry yippee Deep in the heart of Texas The doggies ball Deep in the heart of Texas partner how are you enjoying the rodeo I think it was great and it, we had a, lots of fun great answer howdy partner what has been the best part of the rodeo so far the best the best part was actually face painting great answer back to you Galice Luis wasn't it a spectacular week yes it really was have you ever imagined eating lunch with your parents here at school? Well, Zavala allowed parents to do just that. We bring you Autumn Ramos, who will be interviewing some parents about how they feel enjoying a meal. How do you feel of eating lunch with your daughter? I think this is a perfect opportunity to spend time with my daughter and see every, all the other parents spending time with their kids as well. Thank you. Did you enjoy eating lunch with your son? Yes, I did, because I got to spend quality time with him and his friends. Thank you. ¿Te gustó venir a comer con tu hijo? Sí, sí, me gustó y estuvo deliciosa la comida. What a scrumptious report. Wait, hold everything. I'm just getting some breaking news from one of our ingenious reporters. Let's head over to her immediately. Savala Elementary has just found out that underneath its school there are dinosaur bones. Kindergarten has now taken on the challenge of excavating those bones. And here are our very own kindergarten paleontologists ready to excavate and discover the bones that lie beneath Savala Elementary. Kindergarten paleontologists use different tools to discover what is underneath the grounds of Savala Elementary. Students carefully dig and uncover what they've just found. It looks like they might have found a fossil. Let's see what that is. Let's get a closer look. This is exclusive breaking news. Mrs. Velasquez and her class make a startling discovery of different pieces of dinosaur bones that they have just discovered. Here are two bones found beneath the ground of Savala Elementary.
I'm Miss Scruz, and I'm here live. This is breaking news from Savala Elementary. I'm here with Sean Gonzalez from Mrs. C. Garcia's kindergarten class, and this class has just made an amazing discovery. Sean, tell us what you just found here underneath Savala Elementary. We dug up some dinosaur bones, and, and then we put them um, um, in our classrooms. So you mean to tell me you actually found dinosaur bones here at Savala? Yes. Wow, how are you feeling right now? Excited. Excited. I think everyone's excited here to know their actual bones underneath the ground at Savala Elementary. Let's see an example of what Sean found. Tell us what you found, Sean. The tail of the dinosaur. Can you show the camera? Wow, an actual tail of a dinosaur. How does that feel? Excited. And tell us a little bit about how you dug up the dinosaur bone. We dug up it and we brushed it and then um and then we put it over there and then and then we um Did you have to use a lot of tools to find that bone? Yes. Wow, so this is breaking news. You never know what lies underneath the ground. If you wanna see behind me, we have more kindergarten students still discovering what lies beneath the ground here at Savala Elementary. So I'm Miss Cruz here with Savala Owls Weekly News bringing you this breaking coverage of dinosaur bones beneath the ground at Savala Elementary. Thank you, Sean. Wow, wasn't that a fantastic report? It absolutely was. Now, we will take a short commercial break. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of our broadcast. Get ready for the good, the bad, and the dirty dining as we reveal what's not on the menu in this week's Food for Thought. Good morning, Rio Grande Valley. We're here today at Zavala Elementary in Harlingen, Texas, and it's a beautiful day. We got many reports uh, from the food people that uh, Zavala's having a barbecue today, and we checked their chart, and they look like they have zero demerits. They have a perfect record and everything, and we're going to come inside and uh, congratulate our top performer workers. Go ahead and follow me in. If you look, everybody is working cooperatively. Over here we have a student that is uh, taking in tickets, writing down the monies. And over here we have our top secretary of the school, Miss Melissa, can you say hello? Hi, welcome everybody to our fundraiser here at Zavala this morning. It is an honor to be here, Melissa. And Melissa, we have a surprise for Zavala Elementary. We would like to present you with our top performer award for having one of the cleanest barbecues in the city. Thank you very much. And what do we say to the Valley out there? Keep, Keep it clean. Have you seen all the fascinating items at the book fair? Well, Jenny will be able to tell us more about this. We're here with Mrs. Gonzalez at the book fair. Can you tell us a little bit about this year's book fair? This year's book fair's theme is Reading Gives You Superpowers, and we want everyone to come and enjoy our book fair. Hope to see you here. Thank you. Wow, did you see all the items? Hey, you think we could get a discount or something? I would sure love that. Now we will get the inside scoop on Texas Public School Week with our beloved counselor, Mrs. Ingram. Why do we celebrate Texas Public School Week? Texas Public Schools Week is a time for parents and community members to come in and see all the wonderful things that are happening in schools across Texas, especially here at Savala. To help celebrate, we ask that students and staff members take part in our dress up days. On Monday, we showed that education is bigger here by wearing our Texas flag colors of red, white, and blue. On Tuesday, we tied into education by wearing wacky ties. I myself sported a special Looney Tunes tie that my husband used to wear when our kids were babies. <laughs> on Wednesday, we supported higher education by wearing our college shirts. On Thursday, we showed our Texas pride by wearing our favorite Western wear. We also planned our annual rodeo for the students to enjoy. We want to thank Coach Ganom, Coach Hernandez, and all the other wonderful people who helped make it happen. 
Finally, on Friday, we ask that everyone wear superhero shirts to show that learning gives you superpower. We hope that you enjoyed your week and remember that your education is a privilege and it's free. You can't beat that. Thank you for your answer. Who comes up with the activities? Well, I work hard to put the activities together, but I get a lot of ideas from um, the internet and from magazines. And of course, it's all done with the approval of Mrs. Montemayor. So I really hope you enjoyed them. Thank you for your answer. If you like this story or any other story featured here, please send us your comments or like us on our Facebook page. We welcome all your comments and requests. Thank you for joining us this week. I'm Galicia Landa Verde. And I'm Luis Lugo. See you all later.